So what we, what we have done is usually take what, what typically takes three to four years of building business credit and compress the process down to about 60 to 90 days. Here's how it works. Do you understand that you have a personal credit profile along with a credit score that goes along with that profile? Typically, your personal credit profile goes from 350 to 850, and it's typically called a FICA score. And it's developed by a guy named Fair Isaac. He was a mathematician. And it's basically how they calculate this score. It's a long algorithm. They calculate different sectors of, of credit, like, for example, how much credit you have, um, your outstanding ba balance, blah, blah, blah. But what we do is we actually show you how to establish a business and separate your business credit from your personal credit. So meaning your corporation itself can actually have its own credit profile. So that means whenever I, you guys have probably seen a couple of my videos when I'm going into the car dealership, maybe get a Jaguar or Lexus in my business name for marketing and promotional purposes, and they don't ask me for my Social Security number. The reason why they're able to do that is because I have established a great credit profile for my corporations or business. Did you realize you can actually look up anybody's from Sprint to Apple to any type of company? All companies have a business credit profile. A lot of people don't realize that. Matter of fact, entrepreneur.com states that 98% of businesses do not even realize that corporate credit exists. Now, that's really strange, right, guys? Like, no one even knows that, biz that you can actually separate your personal credit from your business credit. There are many steps in the process, and our ultimate goal is to help you obtain a credit score for your corporation. The first thing we do is we assign you a credit coach or one of our members that have been through the process. A couple of members called in last week, and they took the initiative, got started. You wouldn't believe what, what steps there are in the process. It's a real smooth process. You actually call us, and we walk you through each individual step so it's nice and smooth. The first thing your coach would do is help you establish a corporation so you can build a credit profile and so that your so that your corporation does not get on a red flag list. Now, the reason why a lot of people – like I had a caller, um, a couple of clients calling me today and said, hey, man, I, I've been trying to get credit in my business name. And they're always asking me for my personal information. And like I informed them, I said, the reason why they're asking you for your personal information is because you don't have a – actual score attached to that business. So, for example, I know you guys have been 18 before, if some of you guys are not 18 now, and you've tried to buy a car or apartment. First thing they ask you for is a co-signer. So if you have a business and they're asking you for your Social Security number, that means you're going to be the co-signer for that business. However, as you get older and you start to establish credit, you no longer need a co-signer. And that's what we teach you how to uh, establish a credit score separate from your personal credit profile. And, and all you need when you go into, let's say, a car dealership, real estate agency, anything, all you need is just your basic business credit profile. But, but let me ask you, um, this whole system of you know, business credit, in your opinion, why is it that most people don't know it? I know you mentioned that entrepreneur.com uh, states that 90% of all business owners don't know about business credit. Now, why do you think this is a, a little-known secret? Why don't people know about business credit? Well, great question. Because credit is basically money. This is how the rich and wealthy structure their businesses. So if you ever heard of the top 3%, well, this is what the top 3% do. The top 3% pass this information down to, to their siblings or to their people in their organization, and they kind of keep this a, a guarded secret, you know? So that is pretty much why people do not know. And plus, for example, imagine if you was walking into Walmart or the car dealership, and they say, hey, we'll give you a car without your Social Security number. What do you think would happen if people knew that that, if the masses knew that that can actually happen? I, I so think that they everybody don't... in my old neighborhood would have a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So the powers that be keep it at, at bay. They, they, they know everyone. The, the key people who actually ha own the businesses, they know about it. Like, like, for example, all Fortune 500 companies utilize business credit. Why? Because it, it gives you access to leverage, to cash, the capital you need 
to make your business successful and thrive. For example, in 2009 to 2011 is when I gained the majority of my network. Why? Because the whole country was going through a credit crisis. People were going in foreclosures. Everybody was losing all their property. However, as I was doing my videos in 2009 trying to encourage people to get on board with this business credit, I actually was buying up all the foreclosure properties. So now some of those properties I brought in 2009 for $180,000. Mind you, without my personal name, and most of the time they would let me get the properties for no money down to 3% down. Now the, those same exact properties are now worth five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars and up. So in that short amount of time, you know, property rice, uh, prices have stabilized, and now all that equity is now to me, well, or my corporation. But that is re pretty much why no one ever talks about or knows about business credit because it's kind of like a secret society, I guess you can say. Like only, you know, it's like Illuminati. How can I put it? Yeah, I wouldn't say Illuminati because I don't want anybody to get deterred, yeah. but, you know, only like top business people actually know about, although it's the right of every American to utilize it. Mm -hmm. It's just not put, it's just not put out there like that. Exactly. You know, I remember uh, years ago when I was working as a security guard in Manhattan, one of my um, coworkers who was also a security guard, he, he came on post and he was telling me about how Donald Trump went bankrupt wow. and how he actually didn't go bankrupt himself. It was his business. And he was actually telling me about the business credit uh, system back then. But he was oh. talking to me about it like it was a myth, like a werewolf, like it, you know, like an urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that just goes to show you that, like Terrence said, most people just don't know about this. This is a secret. It, it's for the wealthy, but right now we're making this available for everybody. Exactly, exactly. And most people are kind of scared, too, when you tell them, hey, a corporation. They think, it, you know, having a corporation is some drawn because just the name of it is intimidating, you know. Hey, you have to have a corporation to establish business credit. But as Didi can tell you or Ken that they actually went through the process last week, forming a corporation is nothing. However, if you call a law firm, they may charge you upwards from 1000 to 1500 just to do a process that calls – Maybe a hundred bucks. Why do they charge you fifteen to a thousand or a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred just to keep that certain type of clientele with this knowledge? Basically, that same thing you can do yourself for a hundred bucks. Am I right, Dee Dee? You're very right. It wasn't difficult at all, and I'm so proud of myself. And thank you for your support. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. So basically. Um, so after we help you create your business credit profile, the key thing is to um, help you get a score. And it's, the score for business credit is a little bit different than the score from a um, personal. It, it goes on a scale from 1 to 100. For business credit score, remember, it goes from 350 to 850. So basically what we do is we help you get a score anywhere between 75 to 80. And, it's, and that score is calculated by Dun & Bradstreet. Dun & Bradstreet is actually the leader of all – credit agency. Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian all report to Dun & Bradstreet. This is how you get the credit profile for a business, by calling up Dun & Bradstreet to get those companies' credit profile. So the key thing about trade lines as well, because I was talking to a client on the phone today. He was like, well, how do I get credit when no one offers me credit? Because if you don't have credit, no one wants to give you credit. That's a catch-22. So what we do is we show you and we also add a trade line and teach you how to report as a trade line to other people credit. So I know there's a lot of people on the line right now, so let me explain to you guys what a trade line actually is. A trade line is if you pull up your personal credit report or business credit report, any company that reports on to that credit report is called a trade line. Okay? So like for example, if you have an out if you have an outstanding Sprint bill or T-Mobile bill or whatever bill on your credit, that's called a trade line. So what we do is we show you how to create a corporation, how to have it go through the compliance checks of all government agencies so you'll look like a, a valid business so you're able to obtain credit, um, credit. We also show you how to add credit and offer credit to other clients. And that's the, and that's the beauty of our program. We teach you how to be a real boss. 
a real boss. Exactly. So you don't have to go out and and worry about finding financing or funding to make your business a success. So what we do is we teach you how to actually report trade lines as well. Um, so that's the key thing about our program. So um, not only do we show you how to obtain the great credit profile that you need, but we also show you how to extend credit to other companies. And that just makes you look really good. Because imagine if everyone joins and everybody can report credit to each other. And that's the key. That is the true power of the system. Exactly. Now, Terrence, <clears throat> yes. let me ask you, um, in your personal experience, what's some of the, some of the things that you were able to obtain with this whole uh, business credit system? Like, what's some of the things you bought in your personal life? Because, you know, some people on the call might be interested in, you know, what they can get in terms of uh, real estate, maybe, you know, uh, cars, vehicles. So what's some of the things that you were able to obtain? With your- 25, I had a Bentley. Um, I've had a 56-foot Carver. All 100% in, the, um, in, in a business name. And I don't know if you guys know about boats, but a Carver boat is considered the Roy's Royce of all boats. And because of that boat, believe it or not, it introduced me to the CEO of Heineken, who loves to do yachting. And I was able to get a, a contract to promote Heineken. If you guys ever heard of the, was looking for the DJ around the world back in 2006, that was actually my campaign because of a, a yacht that I was able to get in my business credit profile. The CEO of a company loved the yacht, and I didn't have a boating license. He used to take me on, out on, um, on a, on a, uh, um, to Baltimore to D.C. on my own boat, and it was able to, to, add, um, to add value to the business. Kind of get what I'm saying? We, like, for example, my family in, South, in North Carolina, we own a strip mall as well, two subways, and all this was, was been able to be done because of business credit. Because of business credit, and no one has ever had to put their personal Guys, name on the line on, for any of these things. Come on, we gotta go outside. He's coming. Also, um, Simmy, you asked what else we've been able to do. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, one, one second, Guys, if you could just uh, mute the line. Um, yeah. Everyone that's on Boost Mobile, if you could just mute your line real quick. <laughs> Yeah, because you know a, a a lot of people, and what fascinated me about the whole system was to see so many people being able to get you know condos and and, and houses and vehicles with this system in just sixty days. So let me ask you: Can the average person do this? I mean, and you know, someone that's not too smart, that's not educated, that you know failed their GED test you know more than three times, can they still follow the ball system and have success with it? Absolutely. The boss system is not it's nothing complicated. All it is is handling simple steps and most things can be done right online. Matter of fact, CD was the CD. Tell us, have it have, was it yes. complicated for you? Okay, no. Actually I gave Terrence a call during my lunch break while I was at work and we went on the website and first we got my EIN number, my tax ID. He walked me through every step. That took maybe hmm, 10 minutes or so, and then we went to the other website where I got incorporated, and that maybe took about 10 or 15 minutes, and we were done. Then you and got I your just bank account? I just $135. It was 135 to get incorporated. So I and selected a business people... name. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I selected a business name, and we came up with a business address. And basic information, nothing technical. An eighth grader could do it. <laughs> yeah. So, Absol- um, absolutely. I, an, an eighth grader can actually do this. So it's a really simple process. It's 12 major steps that all all um, agencies look for so that you can be within compliance. Um, and we just make sure you hit all those compliance points. Because we know that, that once you hit those compliance points, the underlying criteria is met. Once that underlying criteria is met, then guess what? By law, they have to approve you for the loan. They have to approve you for the loan. They have to approve you for the loan. That is just that simple. It's just wow, that amazing. simple. Well, and they really can do it. Let me ask you this, Terrence, because I know some people, you know, wondering, and we just want to be clear for you know all the listeners. Let's say someone, you know, decides to take action and they get started tonight. Uh huh. How long would the whole process take from, you know, tonight moving forward? How long would the whole process take for them to be able to obtain, let's say, eh, let's say a loan for $100,000 for their business? How long would the whole process take them? 
Well, it all depends on how you would like that hundred thousand dollars because, like I tell my clients, there's different tiers. Um, the first thing you get a you get approved for will be your store accounts, like your Walmart, your Tiffany, your Neiman Marcus, your Saks Fifth Avenue, anything that's a dark department store. The next the next thing you get approved for are your credit cards, like your your city, your um, your Chase business, your uh, MasterCard business. Those are the second, and then you can go into the bank. So what we do is we step, we take you through step by step, and it takes about so you can get approved about seventy on an average of seventy six, seventy four days from start to finish. Wow, seventy four days. That's, I mean, that's that's truly amazing. You know, no wonder that this information is, is kept hidden. No wonder it's a secret. It's, of course. I, I mean, I would hide it too. I mean, because. <laughs> Just think and, about and, it. Think know, about it. In thing. 70 days, you can create mm-hmm. another legal entity that can acquire debt. Yeah, yeah. And, That's just you know, it's, it's, mind blowing. It's it's it's, it's, it's mind blowing. It's amazing because, you know, for you guys, if some of you guys on the call that might be familiar with business credit and how it works, but you know, as Terrence will tell you, there's there's not a lot of people that's out here teaching it. There's very few. It's very few. Very, matter of fact, most people try to sell you information or, mm-hmm. or and don't actually take you through the steps, or they they may charge you thousands and thousands of dollars, and then you don't they don't even do the work. But what we do is we sit you down and teach you. So you don't even need us anymore. Once you learn this process, you can do it over and over and over and over again because there is no limit of how many businesses that you can create. Hmm. And that's why my lifestyle has been the way it has been for so many years, for over 12 years. Amazing. Let me ask you this, Terrence. Does it does it matter how bad your personal credit is? I mean, you know, you could. Great like, question. Say, great, say question. Bankrupt, great question. You know, your baby mother is taking great, care of support, support, support. You know, let's say that the worst things possible with your credit has happened. You know, like for me personally, you know, I was struggle. I struggled with personal credit because. When I was a teenager, I owed Sprint and so many different phone carriers so much money. <laughs> so as <laughs> well, an adult, I, that's something I had to fix. So let's say, you know, someone on the call has horrible personal credit. Can they still use the system even with the worst credit possible? Let me what cut you off. Thing? Let me cut you off there. Hey, Terrence. Uh, just somebody who might have good credit and um, or, 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 you know, their credit is good, but they got that child support on their back. Mm-hmm. Like, Break down those details for us, terms like how good does this business credit do for a person with good credit or bad credit but just got that child support on them and, you know, don't know what to do? <laughs> well, great question, Kenneth Simeon. Well, the first thing is this is such a remarkable system that it does not require you to use your Social Security number. No time during this whole process will you give them your Social Security number. Or on no application. Matter of fact, most applications that you ask for that are business applications do not even have a place for a social security number. So that shows the power of this program. You're actually because a corporation by by legal definition is a legal entity. So that means because of the fourteenth amendment, it was a corporation is actually a person. Actually a person. So being that it's a its own individual person, it has its own individual credit profile. Does so that make sense to everyone? You know, uh, Terrence, uh, we, we have a few questions in, in the chat. Um, some people want to know, uh, you know, can you do this with any corporation? Can you do this with an LLC? Or how would someone go about doing that? What kind of corporation would you need for this process to work? Well, okay, There's, there is a legal difference between an LLC in a corporation, uh, and because of the, the um, after the Fair Lending Acts have changed after the credit crisis, it's you can do it with an LLC. However, there's a limit that, of what you can do with the LLC. Uh, but with the corporation, there is no limit. Great. And you know what? Um, so, uh, not to cut you off, Terrence, but just real quick, because a lot of people were not. When I'm explaining the system to them and how it works with business credit, most people argue me down, people with no experience, mind you. <laughs> they argue me down and say, Simeon, no, LLC is the way to go. I was told by this person, I was told by that person that LLC is the best way to go. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit, please? Well, 
I, I hate to say this, but most people really don't know what they're talking about. An LLC, if you actually do your, your research, and anyone can do their due diligence and do a Google search of the differences between an LLC and a corporation, most people – most people don't even know why an LLC was created. An LLC was actually only was supposed to be used for someone like a doctor or a lawyer. And the exactly. reason why um, an LLC was made for a doctor and a lawyer is because doctors and lawyers, if they have their own practice, cannot form corporations. Why can't they form corporations? Let's use the example of Michael Jackson, doctor. If he had a corporation, he could have got out of the liability of killing his client, okay? So that was the main reason for LLCs, is for private practices to hold liability. That's why it's called a limited liability company, a limited. There is still liability involved in an LLC. And LLCs now, um, when you get to a certain amount of funding, they will ask you for a social security number. It's just the way it is. Now, back in the day, um, before 2009, they will not ask you for a Social Security number. But after the credit crisis, because you know why? Most people had their things in LLC. Most people did have their property in LLC names. So to answer your question, an LLC is completely different than a corporation. With a corporation, you hold no liability, meaning if you was to buy a car or buy a property in that business name, and it was to go into foreclose or get repo, it just affects that corporation's credit. It does not have any effect on your personal credit. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. I have a question. Cool. Shoot. This is this is Daniel. Hey Daniel. Uh how you doing? I was doing well, uh hear, I was I was hearing uh earlier in the conversation you were saying about uh, you had uh, owned real estate. I, pr- I own a I own a starter home, and I'm currently working with my bank to get a home equity line of credit. And Absolutely. I was thinking about I was actually thinking about trying to get into buying foreclosed properties as is well, you know, house flipping. And I was wondering how this could help me. Well, that's a great question. Um, is is your starter home in your personal name or is it in your corporation name currently? It's in my name, my personal name. Okay, and you trying to access equity? Does your does your property have equity in it right now? Uh, yes, sir, it does. Well, you being that it has equity, guess what? You can access the equity from a corporation. But there is a numerous steps that you have to do. Like you will have to also put your corporation name on on the um on the title of the property. So you probably have to do a quick claim deed. And after you do the quick claim deed, you will call your mortgage mortgage company and ask if, if the mortgage is now assumable. Because the mortgage is now assumable mortgage, you can now transfer that mortgage over to your corporation. And then when you purchase the corp when you when you actually sell the home to yourself or to your your corporation or sign it over to the corporation and it assumes a loan, you can then take out that line of credit or that, or that equity line of credit. I've done that plenty of times. Mm-hmm. I have a property in Charlotte, North Carolina that's in Fifth and Poplar. I had actually brought that place for like $187,000. Now it's like $700,000. But I actually took out an equity line of credit for over a hundred grand. Wow, and I'm right doing that same though. process. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. I've um I've been partners with um with Unc at the Palace and a couple of nightclubs in Fayetteville as well. Yes, yeah, sir. So that's basically what I what I've been uh, working on getting started here, buying uh, uh foreclosed properties as is, and it it just seems like a very smart thing to do mm-hmm. being a my homeowner. Absolutely. Have you ever in Fayetteville? Have you ever heard of the um, the club Body Tap? Yeah, you have I've been there a couple oh, of times. Absolutely. Well, that club right there was done with corporate credit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, how can I? Yes. How do I? How do I roll in this class that you have? <laughs> Simeon. Yeah, I'd like to enroll and. Uh, into this program. So what would I go what would what would I how would I go about enrolling into this program? 
Well, what we'll do is we'll have um, Simeon contact you, and he'll give you all the information or toward the end after all the questions. We can go ahead and get you started. Okay, that's my buddy anyway. <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm-hmm. Simeon, is there any more questions coming in from the um, the live chat? Uh, Terry, yeah, this, this is Steve. I got a question for you about personal credit. And, uh, um, hey, Steve, things. you going to come by tonight? Yeah, man, I'm coming by. What's up? Yeah, um, no problem. The question I had was, uh, how could you do, after you establish your business, how could you actually use your business to improve your personal credit? Like, could you actually have it to where you could say your business uh, gave you a loan and you're mm-hmm. paying that loan back to your business and use that to build Absolutely. your own personal credit? Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's our main focus as well. We want to show you how to be in charge of your financial destiny. We want to sh- we want to show you how not to have to ask no one and just go in there with confidence and get out alone. So yes, for example, Steve, if you was to have a company called Steve Inc., Steve Inc. can now offer a lot a lot of credit. Steve. Now, we yeah. teach you how to report that line of credit with the major credit bureaus like Equifax, TransUnion, Experian. Very, very simple process. Very, very simple. Mm-hmm. But it's just not known. Mm-hmm. Most people do not think outside of the box like that. Mm-hmm. That's called thinking outside of the box. See, most people think you have to go to Sprint or go here to get credit. You can actually get credit from yourself, and that's how the rich do it. The rich give each yeah. other credit, and now it improves their credit, and now they have access to leverage. Mm-hmm. So makes sense cause, to you. Cause that's just like a person. Cause that's just like a person can give another person a line a line of credit, right? Um, Absolutely. So if you say so if you say your corporation, you know, can act as a, a, a individual. I mean, that's just like somebody, uh, you know, somebody giving me me credit, right? I mean, so it can still get reported. So in, in return, that can help your credit score, your personal credit score. And and that's the power of this. And that's the power of this program. People join up. Like for example, if you join up and you join up under someone. We, that person that's above you will be able to actually report a trade line to your new business, just like you'll be able to re- return a favor and report to their company as well, hence causing a perfect credit profile. Now, uh, Terrence, more? Nash, I actually got cut off from the line for a few minutes, but someone posted okay. in the chat, <clears throat> they're, they're interested okay, in I'm starting back. a record label. I don't know if you addressed this this. Uh, uh, question yet, but someone's interested in starting a record label. With this same system, could they start and fund their record label with this same boss system? Great question. Being that I own plenty of nightclubs and strip clubs all up and down the East Coast, I've come across a lot of entertainers. And believe it or not, you'll be surprised at the amount of entertainers that have used this program to actually get business credit. Like when you see music videos and you I know you guys have heard of um, record labels giving people cars, and then if that's called a recoupable, meaning that they the the company gives you a car, but you, you pay out of your album sales. So ex- this is exactly what record labels do to fund their artists. This is exactly what they do. Like if you see a guy, like for example, Soldier Boy, um, he's used my program plenty of times because. As you as you know, um, I have done this for a lot of, I guess, rappers and different people. And Miami Mike is also the president of SOD Money Gang, for example. He was telling me, like, they went on tour in, um, in the Middle East, and they made, like, $20 million. And his banker was trying to say, well, we don't want to use this money. We want, we want to be able to show and, and establish credit. What I was able to do is establish SOD Money Gain and get them a credit profile. Like you could actually pull that up on Dun and Bradstreet. And I don't know if you ever seen his new car. If you ever see his new car that that red Bentley? If you look at one of the videos and take down a license plate of it and you pull it up, it's actually going to be an SOD Money Gain name, meaning that his corporation actually brought that car for him, not him. All those places you see him on, that's actually his business is getting them. So to answer your question, yes, record companies do this, and you can as well. Great, great. Well, there's a few more questions. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, ask them for the people that in the chat. Uh, someone mentioned that, again, they have n- no experience in business, and they want to know, can they still do the system? I'm sorry, I missed that last part. Can they what? 
Uh, someone with no business experience, they want to know, can they still do the process? Can they still obtain business credit even with no prior business experience? Absolutely, absolutely. The steps are so are extremely easy. So anyone with no business, I, to me, this is a great way to start a business. I'd rather start a business not knowing what I'm going to do with fifty grand in my pocket than starting a business with no money in my pocket. You no. Know? So I think it can inspire you to, to come up with your, like do something you love to do, something you can fund your passion now. You can actually fund your passion. Great, great. Well, you know, a lot of people uh, in the chat, they you know, they, they have different things they want to do. Some people want to do record labels, publishing companies. And, uh, of course, you, you can do the system, like you just mentioned, to start any business, just to be clear, any business you can start with this system, and it's a great way to start a business. Now, some people want to know, you know, some people already have corporations. They already have LLCs. Someone asked, can they change their LLC to a different form of corporation? Yes. What you would do, and that's called an Articles of Conversion, an Articles of Conversion. What you would do is you, you can do that, and you would just contact the Secretary of State or go on the Internet to the Secretary of State where you filed that LLC at, and you will file for articles of conversion. And that's actually a good strategy because now you do not lose the age of the corporation or the LLC. You get to keep the, the longevity of it. So if it's that LLC is five years old, you can do an articles of, of, of conversion, and it will keep its tenure. Okay, great. Well, uh, a few more questions. Um, okay. Someone asked, uh, can you use this? for a religious organization? Absolutely, but re religions organizations will be 501c3s. So you will first be a corporation, and then you will have to file for your 501c3 status, which is your mm -hmm. nonprofit organization. But all nonprofit or organizations start off as a corporation, every single one of them. All nonprofit organizations also have a DUNS number. So to answer your question, absolutely. You can use this. I've, I've had numerous churches use the same process to help build their churches. Okay, great. <clears throat> well, someone asked how much the system costs, and like I mentioned before, you know, this is something that most people just don't teach, as Terrence will tell you. You know, most people, they don't know about business credit, so the few people that's actually teaching it are charging what you say, Terrence, about, you know, five, ten, fifteen thousand for this information? Yes, I used to charge about fifteen grand. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> but the thing is with the bar system, you can actually get started with the whole system for only a one time investment of only four ninety nine. Four ninety nine gives you access to the whole system and also the um the the business reporting. And Terrence, if you could just talk about the business reporting just so people can know the value that that has and what it can do for your business. Absolutely. With the business reporting, I guess you guys are on the computer right now. I guess you can Google right now how much a trade line costs. The average trade line, to, so if you was to get someone to add a trade line onto your credit report, it depends on what the dollar amount is. It would typically cost you 5000 or up. It's a very profitable business. People keep it under wraps, but I'm going to show you how to actually act as a trade line. So that is the true value of it. And mind you, you have to have, in order to have a credit score, you have to have at least three trade lines on there so the algorithm can actually generate a score. So could you imagine paying somebody five grand each trade line? It gets a pretty, pretty pricey. But because of this program, we are utilizing each other, each one teach one, and it's just the cost is just drastically cut down. Okay, great. It, it looks like someone has asked a question in a different language. <laughs> I don't know if this is Spanish or Greek or what. Um, oh, I, I want to get to everybody's question, but someone has yes. asked a question in a different language. So if you just translate it, that's great. I thought you knew how to read that, Simeon. I was waiting for you to um, ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, go can ahead, you, sis. Can, can you hear me? Yes, we okay. can hear you loud and clear. I'm the one speaking in Greek. <laughs> so, okay, only no problem. so could you translate that for us? <laughs> I, sh I sure can. Okay. I started a business um, basically was supposed to be for real estate back in 2003. Um, mm -hmm. I did everything as far as um, establishing it with the county clerk of where I live. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I got a business EIN number. I went and got mm-hmm. a Dun and Brad Street number, and mm-hmm. it's under one particular name. But mm-hmm. my question is, I'm about to change my name, and from what I heard from someone, I don't know how correct it is, that the business has to have some part of your name in it. So because Absolutely. my name is going to be totally changed, I, I was like, well, do I need to change the name of the business? I really want to change the name of the business regardless as to what my name is. Okay. And then I, my second question was, can you have more than one business like up under the umbrella of that main business? It's Absolutely. not LLC and it's not incorporated. It's only sole proprietor. So the so the company that you're talking about that you want to have is a sole proprietorship? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, so, okay, well, that will be the first thing you will have to do. So a sole proprietorship is not a corporation. It just means you're doing business as yourself. So that means you're you're actually taking on all the responsibility of the business. That would be the first thing you want to change. You want to be incorporated, okay? Uh-huh. You have uh-huh. to be incorporated, or else if you're a sole proprietorship, they're going to always ask you for your Social Security number. Uh-huh. Okay, but but you can have divisions under your corporations that have their own separate tax ID that are not incorporated, that you can later get incorporated. And that's actually okay. a strategy that I use myself. I think you kind Did of lost me. Did I kind of answer your question? You just lost me just briefly. <laughs> okay, so, so okay, let me explain it like this then. Okay, so you're a sole proprietorship, right? Correct? Right. Yes. The first thing you will have to do is actually do the process like of getting incorporated because a sole proprietorship is not a legal entity, basically. It's you doing business. It's yourself actually doing business. That's why it's called a sole proprietorship. You a will DBA. have to actually – it's a DBA, exactly. So you will have to actually form a legal structure, a legal structure that can actually hold up in court. Because if not, okay. you're going to be the one that's holding up in court if you don't pay a bill, like a cell phone bill. <laughs> okay. You get what I'm saying? So I you do. At first, you have to be 100% have to be a legal entity like a corporation. Okay, so if I incorporate, mm-hmm. would I have to incorporate with the current name that it is? No, of course not. You can incorporate under any name. Okay, so then what happens to this name? Um, being that it's a sole proprietorship, it, it would stay in existence. I mean, they, it would just be in existence. I mean, it's just a sole proprietorship. It's you. So sole Okay, so I basically... In, go ahead. So I can basically just start from scratch, basically. Yeah, you would, yeah. That's exactly what you would have to do. Okay. So you can start from scratch with any name or anything like that. Okay, and with being in a corporation, like I saw one of your videos... Um, where you show the uh-huh. computer screen, and it right. it showed uh, like a multiple number of different entities up under that group name. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's what I'm looking to do. Then I, and that's what I do. What I do is that's called having a a parent corporation, subsidiaries. A parent corporation gotcha. with subsidiaries. For example, this if you ever. There's certain companies that own everything. Like, if you look inside McDonald's, whatever soft drink that's in there actually owns majority of the shares of that restaurant. A lot of people don't know that, but that's how it works. And so, how can I tell? Like, Trump. Donald Trump. Let's, since we started off with Donald Trump, let's finish with him. Donald Trump has Trump Towers, Trump Casinos, Trump International, Trump this, Trump that. But I think his main company is, is it Trump International? And all his hotels, all his ho- all his uh, apartment buildings are underneath that one company, that one brand, but he has other brands under him that are separate. And I don't know if you guys have ever read any of his books. He actually talks about business credit in his books and how, you know, he was able – how that's why – People say Donald Trump went bankrupt seven times. No, he did not go bankrupt seven times. Seven of his companies went bankrupt. <laughs> There's a huge difference in that. Huge okay, difference. so I have one last question for you. Sure. What is the aspect of your corporation when it comes to uh, paying taxes? 
as far as, as far like as what whatever money. like whatever revenue or whatever income you bring into the business in, into that's the corporation. The gr- that's the great thing about a business. See, when you're a person, you make your money and they take the money out after you know right when you make it. As a business, uh-huh. you make your money first, you spend what you need, and you pay taxes on what's left. That's the beauty. You pay taxes beauty on what's thing left. About exactly, and and a lot of times you ever heard? Um, that's what the major debate was over the few the last few years. They say the loopholes of the rich, the loopholes uh-huh. of the rich come from corporations. For example, they may say, okay, you're being double taxed with a corporation. Let's just use this. This is a basic um, thing. If you was to make $100,000 in one year, you will be taxed on that money about 30-something percent, I'll say. Let's just say Uh 30%, right? So off $100,000, you're taxed at 30%, which is $30,000, right? If you was a corporation, though, and this is why I don't understand why, why athletes don't do it this way versus just taking that check in their personal name. But anyway, if you are a corporation and make a hundred thousand dollars, this is how it works. Say for example you pay yourself out of that hundred thousand dollars minimum wage. Let's, or let's just say you pay yourself out of that a hundred thousand dollars ten ten thousand dollars a year. So now uh-huh. you're gonna pay thirty percent of that ten thousand dollars, which is three grand, right? That's one tax because uh-huh. you get taxed twice. Now by you paying yourself money, that's now a deduction for the corporation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's actually your payroll is an expense. Uh The car that you get is an expense. The property Uh that you have is an expense. You don't get taxed on all that money. You get taxed on what's left. And and I would suggest you get with a pretty good accountant because there's some great ones out there. And I'm not I'm not an accountant. I even use accountant for myself, so I don't want to give you too much accountant information. However, I can Uh tell from personal experience that. It is better to be a corporation. Let's just put it like that. Because you pay your taxes after you pay yourself and, and what you need. You pay on what's left. Awesome. Makes sense? Makes and much of, sense. And that's, one of the, and that's the loophole that, that, that Congress is trying to get out. And that's what rich people or people who have corporations do not want to change. Because you because can, you can write off everything you can, else. You can write off everything. <laughs> Your food, your clothes, your car. I have a Neiman Marcus account, Saks Fifth Avenue account. All this stuff is write-offs. I have $100,000 in suits. That's a write-off. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, <laughs> ladies who are on the, on the phone, yes, Tiffany, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue all have business accounts. Yeah. You could definitely get jiggy with this system. You can definitely <laughs> look good while you do business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we, we have a few more questions we want to get to. Uh, <laughs> I got to laugh. <laughs> and you guys can definitely feel free to call in, too, with your Y'all questions. Y'all so um, shout out right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. People need secrets. Um, the, the next question we have, um, one of the, the Morris brothers asked about the religious uh, corporations. He said the religious corporations, do they have to file a 501c3? Well, if you if you're if you're a religious group and you're doing it for not profit, you will have to file for your non profit. Yes. Okay. All but right. guess what? That process, I have a lot of quick ways because usually that process takes six months to a year. I know a process to get you your um five hundred one three C as part of the program in thirty days. In thirty days. Wow. So, I myself have a nonprofit organization called the Believe and Achieve Foundation. Okay, great. The next question: Someone wants to start a group home, and oh, they, great! I work with those. Yeah, Go ahead. They they want to start a group home, and they said, you know, it, it takes about twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Can this program help me? That's the question. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, that's a great idea. Um, I know a lot of people. Um, Troyville in my city, he does um, group homes, and I've been able to work with him. He's been able to create group homes and even get the the vans to transport the kids. It will 100% help with group homes. It even will help you purchase the group home you're trying to start and fund it as well. Okay. All right. Now, Abdul asks, he says, listen, I have a, a 
I have a five year old corporation. You know, he does table and wholesale. And he, he wants and he wants to open up another store. He he, he said he needs about a hundred thousand dollars in business credit. And he wants to know can this system help? Okay. Or, so, or, or rather so, how can he go about the process of getting a hundred thousand dollars for his corporation? So does he so does he have a corporation or L L C? Well, he says he says he has a, an old corporation, which is about five years old. Mhm, mhm. And he's trying to. He wants to open up another store, but he needs about a hundred thousand dollars. So he wants to know Absolutely. how he can go about getting corporate credit. Well, well, what we will have to do, we will have to look at his corporation right now. Being that he wants, and, and this, and guys, I want you guys to really listen to this because this is this is exactly how we, I teach you to think. For example, if I if you had a, a five question test that was all multiple choice, and I gave you the answers to that test, right? It's only five questions. Would you be able to pass that test? And it only had A, B, or C. Would you be able to pass that test? Yes, right. So Absolutely. what I do is I teach you I teach you how to think backwards. If you want a hundred thousand dollars in business credit, guess what? The bank is going to look. And see, have you had $100,000 before? What is your outstanding credit now? And can you, do you have enough revenue to even, uh, to even bring in that, to, to pay back that $100,000 loan? And what I do is I teach you how to look for those things and how to set your corporation up properly the first time. So if you need $100,000, your credit profile is going to at least have $300,000 worth of credit on it because now you know that, okay, if they pull your credit report up and they're saying you have $300,000 worth of trades on there and you're asking for $100,000, they're going to say, okay, you have over three times the amount on your credit profile that you're looking for. So absolutely. So you would just look, so you would just structure your corporation backwards. Does that make, does that make to you guys? Definitely. definitely. So okay, the, so the trade question. lines you will add on there will be more than what the trade lines you're trying to get currently. Okay. Well, it's called we working backwards. We're going to take just a few more questions, and then we're going to go ahead and and. End I the like call. the questions. I love the questions. Oh, you lo- okay, okay, cool. Well, <laughs> That's <laughs> not with the questions. People are very <laughs> intrigued. That's a good thing. Okay, yeah, great, Yeah, great. exactly. Keeps, I mean, these questions no, are very, very... very Go ahead. Oh, wait, hey, wait, we, we could do this all night. You know, I'm definitely with that. Okay, um, but. <laughs> the next get the basketball <laughs> games. Get the games. No, everybody's like, let's talk business. The next question is the money. This one. Uh, the next one, is one, it comes from Ronald. He asks, with this system, can you fund yourself through college? Can you use the system to go to college? That's a good question. Absolutely. Does, does college take credit cards? Uh-huh. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's too, you know, because okay. yeah, that's a good question. You know, you got a, you got a lot of a lot of people in college trying to fund themselves. Listen, exactly, and it's and it's funny you actually asked that question is because I wish I could have my uh, my daughter mother on the phone because I've definitely paid for her college <laughs> nice. using business credit. Yeah, that's how that's how not to argue with that's the mother children. One on one. That's how look, Ken. That's how to stay off of child support. <laughs> well, <laughs> nice, <laughs> good, good lesson. <laughs> You could baby mama a car and a, uh, a BMW and a hundred and a, and a three hundred thousand dollar condo and some college. That'll keep her quiet for a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. How you want? See that right here. Want to change your life. <laughs> Why would you need college after learning all of this? I'm just curious. Well, I mean, <laughs> college is college is that's knowledge. Who wants to turn away knowledge because of what you have? Like you can also go to school and, and still do this. Okay. Who wouldn't want to go to school and still create a corporation and have a business background? That's a beautiful well, I, thing. I do, I, I do get her, her rationale, though. Like, Me too. I get it. I get it. Cause, yeah, no, yeah. because most people go to college because you have to in order to get a good job so that you can pay for the things you want. But, like, the things that you need to, to like, live – they're they're all actual life lessons. I mean, I went to college; it was a waste of money. So I'm just saying, after knowing this, I mean, I wouldn't understand anybody's logic. Well, let me answer that real quick. Like, well, college, my, unless you're just somebody who wants to like be a doctor and you yeah. want to just help people and you want to just like you know, oh my gosh, I want to save the world type of thing. 
Well, my but personal if you understanding... just going to college just so you can get a job so you can make six figures, uh, why are you doing that? <laughs> you know, you know what? That's that's a you know that's a great point. But me personally, like you know, I, I don't plan on going to college, and because with this system, I can just use it to fund my businesses and also use the system. But at the same time, I have two children, and I do want to put them in college, not because they need to go for a job, because I want them to go to college for character and to make contacts. So I'm, I'm also right. using this system to, fund, to put my kids through college when it's time for them to go there. So I definitely understand both points. So that's why this is the perfect system, because you can use Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We couldn't have said the best. I mean, the college is just not made for making money. You also learn life lessons as far as, you know, reading and writing better and being more professional as well. Well, I, I wouldn't agree. I wouldn't agree with that because I have two degrees. No, I kind of learned how right, to write. Right. Yeah, I was just saying, college did not teach you how to write anything. <laughs> well, well, well I, what I've learned is also if you pay attention. Well, everybody has their own opinion, so don't exactly. let that be taken away. Like Everyone that. has their own opinion, so allow that man to have his opinion. And that's how you feel, brother. That's how you feel. But you know, college has everything for for individuals just in general, like your kids, whatever, going to college or growing up. It's networking. You're meeting people, and you're learning at the same time in the process. That's basically what it is. I want my kids to go for the networking opportunities and also to build character. They're not going to need to get a job because they can come work with me, of course. Hang out in the student center. Hang out in the student center. You don't even have to pay for that. Can we please, um, if you're on the line, can you please mute yourself? Please, thank you. Yeah. So, so okay. So, pretty much, you know, again, one of the main questions is how much does this, does this program cost? And it's only four ninety nine. You can get started tonight for only four ninety nine. You have access to the full system, the business reporting, and you can also be an affiliate for the system. So if you choose to bring in, you know, just a few people to the system, if you inspire four people to get started, we actually gonna gonna pay you a commission of one thousand dollars. Which is pretty sweet. One thousand dollars just to refer four people to the system. And you know, all of us here on the line, we're all entrepreneurs, and we know these four people that, that need funding. Actually, all the entrepreneurs I know need funding. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure Terrence can attest to that. You know, when you're exactly. entrepreneur Absolutely. and you're networking, you meet entrepreneurs, and they're always trying to pitch you on a business. They want you to invest. And I'm like, listen, money, <laughs> you, you better get with the boss system because you can get funding for your business, any business, and like Terrence mentioned, even uh, religious organizations. So the whole program, the whole course, you can get started tonight for only four ninety nine, less than five hundred bucks, and have access to everything. And just in about sixty to ninety days, max, have anywhere from ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, upwards to a hundred thousand dollars for your business or for your college or to get out your mama's house and get a condo. It doesn't matter. You can do that. <laughs> you can do that with your system immediately. But but wait, there's more. There's more. And I don't want Terrence to get mad at me. He, we might have to argue after this, but I, you know what? Because it's Cinco de Mayo, we're actually going to let the course. I can't don't do it. it. Wait, don't do it. Jimmy, you going to do it? He didn't, listen, he listen, he didn't listen, even listen. talk to me about this. Listen. Go ahead. I know you did. I'm, I'm saying, like, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it like you're doing it for the vibe. <laughs> Terrence, do I, I don't the want vine. the problems, but listen, man. 147. 147. You guys could get in tonight for 147. One forty, a hundred and forty-seven dollars to cost of a pair of Jordans. You got to get access to the full program, and in sixty to ninety days, have upwards to a hundred thousand dollars for your business. Amazing. One forty-seven. Now, mind you, this is the program costs four ninety-nine. It still costs four ninety-nine. But what we're doing with this program is this is kind of like layaway. You can get started right now for one forty-seven and just pay your balance as you go along. So, this so as you bring people amazing. in, you can actually pull down your balance and still get your – okay, okay. Now, Terrence, I'm sorry. I had to do it. 147 tonight is Cinco de Mayo, you know, so this is how we're doing it. 147, you guys can get started. Full access to the program. You will have a balance, though. Keep in mind, this is 499 but you can get started for 147 just pay so we're giving them here. everything. Yeah, we pay the balance so Terrence doesn't sue me, you know, later. <laughs> but you can get started for 147 right now. <laughs> My legal team is ill. So let me, let me, let me ask you a question, Terrence, or rather let me push for it out there. Um, okay, for, go ahead. There might, there's people there, I'm, I'm pretty sure there might be people online that don't have a corporation or don't have nothing and uh, don't have that, that 
education is GED or nothing. But it's listening to the call and hearing all the great things and, you know, from you explaining your experience and so forth. And they may be wondering, okay, well, I got 147 right now or I got 499 right now, but I have no knowledge of really how and where to really start and how to build this corporation, knowing that you're going to do that for them. Could you probably just explain that to those who might be listening that don't have that full knowledge or that, that, that education of what it is, who is skeptical and saying, well, I got money to invest in. I got that money I just want to spend. Okay, I'm well, listening to it. Okay, I have a question for you. When you was on a call last week, did you have any idea where to start to get a corporation? Actually, no, I didn't. See how easy it was? Very simple information. I actually sit down with you and meet myself and your credit coach, the person to bring you in, will sit down with you and walk you through step by step on the phone. On well, I actually, the phone's I actually was on the phone with you for about a good hour and a half uh, the other exactly, day. Exactly, exactly. But did we not get everything accomplished? Yes, we did. And the format, everything sent to me, brought to my knowledge, and it was like really – for me getting it that day, I sat back and just started just brainstorming on everything, started reading it, started, you know, getting it all up in that, that knowledge, all all in that brain, letting it soak like a sponge because I want to know what it is, what's going on. I want to know how to start this corporation. I want to know what it is that I'm going to have to know for myself and answer out what I have to go to you or asking you, you know what I mean? Because the stupid question is the one that you don't ask, but also I want exactly. to get my own knowledge. You know, I want to gain my exactly. own knowledge and work. And, and absolutely, and that's what I encourage all you guys to do. Do your due diligence on this, and you'll start to see as you start to open up the rabbit hole. It's just like the matrix. Like it's something that you never heard of, but then you start doing your research, and you're like, wow, I didn't know this was started with business credit or this or that or this or that. Why has no one been talking about this? Because it's been a, it's been a guarded secret, actually. So, yes, all the, so we will send you all the information on every step-by-step step what, what to do. So not only would I be work, work, working with you personally, you actually are going to have the manuals and the information right in front of you as well. Wow. True, truly amazing, especially for So if after you give me all that information, after that is basically me putting in that footwork so uh-huh. I can get out what I want in. What I put in is what I'm definitely going to get out. Exactly. And exactly. You know how I am, Ken. I'm, I'm always about motivation. I try to make sure you stay on it, too. Steven, Steven can attest to this as well. I, I want you guys to, to, to do the program, to, to get it together, because I know the faster you actually do the steps, the faster you get the money. It's just that simple. It's yeah. just that simple. Yeah, yeah. So we, we want to, you know, definitely encourage you guys to, you know, take take action immediately. Go ahead and get started now because for only 147, you have access to the full system. You know, we'll definitely get on the phone with you. We'll coach you. We'll hold your hand through the step by step process, and we'll make sure that you get everything accomplished. So in 60 to 90 days from now, you can have a loan from 50 to 100 thousand dollars for your business or for whatever it is that you're trying to do. So with that being said, I definitely want to get some more questions answered. Sure. I know some of you might have some questions. So if you got any questions, you, you, could ask, you could ask them in the chat room on Facebook, or you just go ahead and unmute your line and, and ask a question. This is Charles. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. Yourself? Uh, I want to start, I want to start a, a, a Zotic a car rental business down here in Florida, around Miami, Orlando, Tampa area. How would I go about doing that to get the high-end cars, leasing my corporation name to like the Ferraris, Lambo, oh nice, nice, the um, um Rolls Royce, and and um 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 the uh, Ed Martin, you know, under the corporation name. And what's the process with that? Time frame. Great question. Great question. And with this program, you're going to be able to answer questions like this. But I'm going to give you guys some valuable information. It's a bank called SunTrust. SunTrust Bank gives loans for exotic vehicles in your corporation with with zero money down, as long as you have an ADP index. SunTrust Bank. However, you still have to have that eighty paydex score, that, that that credit score. Paydex meaning credit score. That's just what they call it, paydex. But yes. So what I would recommend you to do is to first structure your corporation. I would say I would ask you questions such as how many cars do you want to start off with your with your initial fleet? 
Then I would then say, okay, well, this is how we need to set up your corporation because we're going to apply for these this amount of loan. So let's set up your corporation like this so we know we're going to meet all their underlining criteria for the yes. Once you do that, we go to SunTrust Bank. Sun, SunTrust Bank, so you'll go to whatever car luxury car dealership you want to get. You will get a buyer's order. You would then take that to SunTrust Bank, and voila. Matter of fact, I have a video just of doing that. I have videos buying Jaguars, uh, Lexus, but you want a little bit higher end vehicles. Things like BMW, Lexus, you can go straight to the car lots. Things like, like uh, Rolls Royces, Lambos, Aston Martins, Ferraris. All those those are luxury vehicles, and typically people pay cash for those. However, SunTrust Bank is the best bank to get financing for luxury vehicles. SunTrust Bank. You guys can even look that up for yourself. A little bit of free information for you. I have a question. Does the amount of money or income that your corporation is generating have any effect on your score? No, it does not. Okay. Your score is completely comprised of your credit that you've paid on or have outstanding balances or have actually paid up on. So it does not. However, the banks do look at um, how much money you are projected to bring in. Okay. And where do they see that at? Great question. So what we do is we'll set you up when you set up your credit profile to submit something called financials. Now, what financials are, and this is the cool thing about corporations, um, you can get accountants, certified CPAs, to do something for you called certified financials or projections. And what these projections do is they actually break down what you're going to do with the credit that you already obtained. So it shows them how you're going to make money off of the credit that you're gaining. The way projections posted down in Bradstreet, they post as profits. So, say for example, you say, "Okay, I'm going." You talk to your accountant, and they say, and you say, "Okay, I need three hundred thousand dollars." But with three hundred thousand dollars, I can make two point one million dollars because this is what I'm going to do with it. So now it's the accountant job to put together the financials to show the bank how you're going to make that $300 turn to 2.1. Once they certified and stamped those financials, you submit those financials to Dun & Bradstreet, and that's what you bring to the bank. That's one of the things that's going to be in your loan package. So, And that's something I teach you guys um, how to do, and I give you guys samples of those. So if you have your CPA that can do it for you or you can use mine, they actually um, send that to you, and you send that to Dun & Bradstreet. So now – when they pull your business credit profile up, your financials are actually posted on to your credit profile as well. So now your credit profile is going to say he's going to you gross two point one million dollars. You have X amount of employees. You have three hundred thousand dollars already paid off in credit. So you're going to look like a solid company. So yes, your financials you submit those to Dun and Bradstreet once you already make sure you met all the requirements. You submit to some um, your your financials, your address. You know when you're setting it up, and then it posts on there. So now you don't when when the when they look to pull your credit report up, it shows hey you make 2.1, you have X amount of employees, you have all these trade lines on there. They have no choice but to give you the credit. They, remember, banks make money from loaning money out to you. They make money off interest. So a loan officer gets paid to give you money. Remember that, guys. The banks want to lend you money. They just want to make sure you meet their criteria. Let me repeat that one more time. The banks make money off of lending you money. Remember, because they charge you interest on that money. Your job is to take that money and invest in things that appreciate in value and that can generate residual income. You can pay back the, so you can service the loan. You get what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. That's the key thing. That's 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 really good. Got got a few more questions out there. By Tanisha, she has a question. She says she has a daycare yeah, and she wants to extend it at her home or something to that nature. So she has a daycare. What's the what's the exact she question? She has a, she has a daycare. She wants to expand it at her home, and she wants to start a corporation that provides school supplies and uniforms and things of that nature. Also, she wants to start a group home for pregnancy and runaway teens. So I guess a question idea. is how after yeah I guess a question is how to get everything started. 
like I said, you will sign up for the program and we'll get you started so you can develop the corporation so you can get funding to take care of, you know, whatever you like. If you say you want to get another property, another home to have a daycare in. So, first of all, we had to look up the property, see what's the best deal. And we have Terrell, who's great at finding um, uh, great property. He's going to actually be uh, hot. Is Terrell on the line? Well, Terrell is great at finding, like, extremely great properties. He's, he's invested himself in New, all throughout New York. So, And he's also been through the program, has a score. It's getting approved for everything he applies for right now. It took him about 76 days to get his score. Uh, do you have to incorporate within, like, I'm in New York, so, you know, we have different boroughs. Do you have to incorporate your business in the same borough you reside in? Absolutely not. You you would want to incorporate. Um, you do not have to re- incorporate in the same borough, borough, and you does and you do not have to incorporate in the same state that you're in, because exactly. different states have different privileges. And like for example, have you guys ever heard of certain corporations co- incorporating in Delaware? Yeah. The reason why they incorporate in Delaware is because of the state taxes there. You know, you probably heard of people incorporating in Nevada because Nevada states that if you own a corporation there, like if someone was to sue you or anything that, that's owned by a Nevada corporation, it goes to that to the Nevada company first. So there's different places, and I teach you about that as well in the program. Like the best places to incorporate if you do not want to do it in your hometown or city or state. So to answer your questions, no, you do not have to incorporate in the same borough, or you do not even have to incorporate in the same state. Uh, one oh, okay. thing, Karen, I just want to mention to everybody and to the a young lady have a, a, a question about, you know, I know some people might already have the program. So what we have right now is we have a community of people that we're all here to help one another. So this Absolutely. is not a, the kind of thing that you sign up for and you kind of left to figure it out by yourself. Once you join the, the boss system and you have access to the boss life network, we're a family, we're a community of people that have the same goal. So, you know, you can contact me for questions, contact Terrence, contact Warren, contact Ken, or any of the other leaders that's on the call, and we will help you with this process. So this is a community that we have here that will help you obtain business credit. Because we will want you to help someone, because once, once you get on, now we want you to help someone. Because now that now now we are securing our own financial debt ourselves, and that's powerful, guys. That is that's really powerful. I don't think you guys realize how powerful that is. You can create credit. You can create money. Just think about that. Indeed, indeed, it's, it's, this is serious. And again, a lot of people are inboxing me asking me about the system. Listen, for tonight, 147 to get started. Um, definitely, you know, get back to the person that has referred you to the, to the call, whether, you know, it, it's me, Terrence, uh, uh, Terrell, or one of the other leaders. Get back to us ASAP and get started tonight for 147. And tonight, we'll walk through the process of starting your corporation. So by tomorrow morning, you'll be up and running, ready to start the process of obtaining you know, 30, 40, 50,000 in business credit in just 60 days. This system works. We have a bunch of testimonials. A lot of you guys are in the business credit club group, and you can see, you know, the lifestyle. A lot of people have, you know, were able to get condos and cars and, and obtain, you know, large amounts of money, capital for their business. So this thing, this system truly works, and we are here as a community of entrepreneurs. We're here to help each and every one of you obtain success. You can get on the phone with me. You can get on the phone with any of the leaders here, and we're going to walk you through the process, hold your hand, and make sure you have success because that's what we're about here at the Boston Network. We, we definitely encourage you guys to get started as soon as possible. So with that being said, do we have any more questions? Yes, we have one. Hi, this is Daniel again. Hey, Daniel. And and I was calling, I was wanted to ask, uh, along with this program and establishing business credit, yeah. now, with this uh, $100,000 that you might can get in business credit, I was uh, thinking about flipping houses. So would that help me into buying my first property? 
What? Absolutely. That's what I use this for. We, we all do Me it. Per- <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's exactly what I basically use my money for uh, for the credit. I, I trade Forex and options. I love trading stock and I love trading. I, I'm, I'm kind of out of stock right now, but I do a lot of options and Forex and real estate property. That's all I usually, usually do my uh, – because you get great returns that way, especially right now in the housing market. I mean, they're they're practically giving away loans right now for houses. Practically giving them away. Wow. So answer questions, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I show you step by step. I even showed uh, um, on one of my videos me going into the bank, getting a loan, getting a property, then furnishing and staging the property through the corporate credit as well. So not only did I get the property from, from corporate credit, I got the funds for this in the property from the corporate credit. Exactly, and that's a great question because, again, you know, most of the leaders, you know, a part of this network, we all are involved in real estate. That's what we do with this, you know, and you can easily uh, obtain a loan to, to build your real estate business. So that's a great question. And yes, you oh, it is because not to cut you off. Not to cut you off. I'm getting a lot of background noise. I can't. I can't really hear you. Can 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 people that are on the call, please, 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 we beg you guys to please mute your call so everybody can get the most out of this information. Exactly. Yeah. Please. Okay. Um. Uh, I have, have another more. question. Go ahead. Sure. Uh, since you're speaking about real estate, would what would be the best suggestion or best advice if you are looking to? purchase a property for your own personal use, would it be better to uh, make payments on or uh, buy it free and clear? Um, I always suggest it depends on how much the property really is. Because, Mm -hmm. for example, it, it depends, of course, on what state you're in. Like me, there's no way I would pay straight up for some of the properties on like the one I'm in right now is a half a million dollars. I do not want to tie for half a million dollars. I would rather pay a monthly mortgage over thirty days. I mean over thirty years. So now I have time to pay that and I'm not tying up so much cat working capital. Because the key thing is to use that money as leverage. So you can do more things because for example I could be using that hundred, that five hundred thousand dollars that I paid for one property to be putting down as down payments for fifty properties. Gotcha. You get what I mean? Yep. Absolutely. So that's what I would do. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I had a question. I actually have been listening to this via phone. I'm not in front of a computer or Facebook. Um, so I want to know what. Place I need to go to to uh, to get started. Absolutely. Well, great job that you was on the call. So I guess what you would do is you would contact Simeon after the call ends, and he'll get you enrolled. And sign okay. up, and we'll get that, and we'll get the package over to you tonight. Yeah, cool. Really, Very good. Simeon, uh, just inbox me your your phone number, and I'll give you a call right after this call. Perfect. And we'll get you enrolled, and we'll get you started, and you'll have your corporation, your bank accounts, and everything set up this week. Sounds good. I would okay. I would just like to thank you guys for all the information. This is Andres Moreira. I would like definitely like to thank you guys. Um, it, it was my first conference call. I pretty much just wanted to just listen and take down the information. Um, like I said before, I'm definitely going to join, but I just wanted to you know kind of just listen today. That's Absolutely. a great thing. We appreciate you listening. That's a good we thing. Appreciate, did you learn anything today? Oh, I learned a lot, a whole lot, <laughs> a lot. And like I said, feel free, guys. I always tell, as a business owner, you have to do your due diligence. Do your due diligence, and you're going to find out that this is the way the world actually runs. This is how money is created, guys. This is actually how money is created. Now, did you did you guys see what Wells Fargo said about business credit? Wells Fargo said, until you actually access the per, the, the power of business credit, that's when you're going to get the loans. This is this is Wells Fargo. I posted all. If you go on the on the on the page, on our um, community page, I actually post what Fox News says, what USA Today says, what Wells Fargo actually says about business credit. So I know that it may seem secret, but the information is out there. Okay. You just have to know where to look. 
Well, guys, I really do appreciate you guys for listening to the call and getting involved in the boss life. Remember, this is a life-changing ordeal. You will be able to have the access to the funding. And I'm not talking about a little bit of money. I mean real funding to fund your dreams. You can actually get rid of and fire your boss, because that's what the boss system is about. Fire your boss and become your own boss. Mm-hmm. And unlike other uh, multi-level marketing companies, we teach you how to actually be a business. This is something that, that they, they don't even show you this in school. And no one in school going to show you how to actual what credit is about. You can go to middle school, high school, elementary school, college. No one ever teaches you about credit. Do you think that's a coincidence, or do you think that's by design? By, by design. design. Because credit is the gateway to wealth. I'm going to say it again. Credit is a gateway to wealth. Mm-hmm. Rockefeller, Carnegie Skid Steel, any big-time company, Rothschilds, they create credit to have access to wealth. Credit gives you access to wealth. Point blank period. And everyone knows that when you get to a certain level. When you get to a certain level, it's it's not about, I guess, race. It's about class at a certain level. And certain classes know that credit is an access to wealth. It's just, it's like a, it's like a, um, like he said, it's like a secret society. It's like, you know, like when I'm walking in my building sometimes, sometimes I'm like the only black guy, unless it's like a basketball player staying there, or Ric Flair or somebody. I mean, he's like the only black guy. So they, they actually look at me and say, hey, how did you do this? And I'd be like, oh, like there was, there was a guy in one of my buildings that I, um, one of my units that I own. He had a Tesla. You, you guys heard of the new Tesla car? Yes. Yeah. The new Tesla is cool. And I was like, did you get that in the corporation name? Because Tesla is giving away basically to business owners the new electric cars. They, they have like an incentive. And he said, how did you know about that? I was like, ah, he didn't think I knew about that. And I was like, well, where did you go get it? He was like, well, I got this from South Carolina. They gave it to me, this and this and this and that. I was like, oh, that's cool. But like I said, it breaks the barrier down. down. Having credit breaks that barrier. It's the access to wealth. Well, with that being said, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for, you know, making it on the call tonight. And we're truly glad you learned a lot of information about building business credit. And we look forward to working with each and every one of you and helping you obtain credit for your business. So I definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and get started today for the 147. Just get back to the person that referred you to this call, and we'll go ahead and start the process tonight. That way, this week, you'll be up and running with everything you need to start the process. So with that being well, said, go ahead. Thank you so much for a plethora of wealth of information that has been before us, but we knew not how to obtain it, and we were placed in alignment and position with you guys to receive it. Thank you. Oh, you're very you're so welcome. So you're welcome. so welcome. Yeah, I hope everybody has a great night, and I'll see you on the next call. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.